How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. The Rally Adventure expansion is just around the corner. In this video we're going to have a look at some extra information that we've learnt about the expansion since the reveal last week. A few things weren't mentioned in the stream, weren't really gone into detail and we're going to cover all that today. Show you gameplay of certain new features, how they work and just some secrets about the expansion. Let's jump straight into it. Now, it's no secret that within the expansion we are getting launch control and anti-lag. Everybody knows that. Well, there is actually more customization coming within the update that they didn't really mention on the stream. As we can see here from, I think, one of the blog posts, we can see that they have introduced new tile tire profile size. I nearly butchered that then. New rally parts and an anti-lag system that we already know about. So the key things here are tire profile size. This is quite big because not only is this handy for rally customization, but it will cater to another part of the community as well, the drag racers. This is what the tire profile of a tire is, and this will benefit drag racers if they can make drag tires similar to this. You know, being able to adjust the tire profile size is quite a good customization feature. And along with that, it said new rally parts. Now, we're not entirely sure what new rally parts is going to mean. Maybe generic Forza rally parts for lots of cars or just car specific. We don't know, but it's good to see that's coming as well. We already know about the anti-lag and the launch curl. And it says that all of these customization options will be provided in the content update for all players on any map. So if you just have the Mexico map, you don't have the expansion you will also get these new customization features so that's cool to see now on about the launch control and the anti-lag i have a bit of gameplay of it in action to show you more specifically in the customization screen the edit is going to the garage upgrades and tuning oh, a, and i skipped admission. through there is a prompt saying we have a new turbo <laughs> upgrade that yes. i just skipped through because that's the dev in me that just skips through any yes. notification <laughs> message yes uh, what it's saying is you go into this screen uh, and you can Go into the engine, turbo. I think we've already got it installed because we were playing Ooh. around with it earlier. But if I switch between uh, race and race with anti-lag, you can see on the graph at the bottom, uh, that's the turbo coming on slightly sooner. Um, also on gear shifts, the turbo stays spooled. And there's another feature that we'll get to in a bit uh, about it as well. And what we all want to see is... Oh, there it is. <laughs> all right, I think we... Now, in terms of launch control, launch control is actually going to be some sort of assist. If we take a look at some of the gameplay we were shown on the stream, we can see that there is an extra icon near the speedometer that says LC, which stands for launch control. Now, when you're engaging launch control at the start of a race or in free roam, it will flash and indicate that you are engaging launch control. Same with tractor control and stability control, they have their own little flashing icon as well. So it's going to work more of like an assist launch control is. I presume that you'll probably be able to turn it on and off if you please as well. We finally get to see the map of the Rally Adventure expansion and here it is. It doesn't look overly big to start with but it is, it just doesn't really look it. Whether it's the biggest expansion we've received so far I'm not sure but it is quite a big map. We can see some of the points of interest such as the abandoned quarry appears to be sort of in the middle as we can see here. And there's a few other interesting things, like there appears to be some kind of drag strip. We all like drag strips, whether that's, it looks to be tarmac as well, actually, now that I look at the map, because all of the white roads are tarmac and the orange roads are off-roading. So there are, there is a new tarmac drag strip, which is cool to see. And then if you look down here, there's also a bike track. Now, don't get your hopes up, we're not getting bikes in the game. That would be very out of nowhere, but... I don't know, it just sounds like another cool area to take some small cars and bomb about in them. I'll zoom into some more points of interest, just if you fancy having a bit of a better look. Um, but yeah, that is the map for the Rally expansion. Not too bad. What else do we have? Well, we have, we have been given a little bit of a glimpse of the pause menu and how the teams and the levelling up and the, uh, the cars work. So the pause menu for the expansion will look like this. It's got sort of an orange theme to it and you'll see there's, there is a section to select your team. Now when you go within that it will show you all three of the teams. We've got Dirt Rally, Road Rally and Night Rally, um, all three sections. Now you can go into each one and complete them one by one and as you can see there are rather specific challenges to do per team so we can see on the road rally team we have to win a race smash 20 of the promo boards 
um, earn one star on some of the PR stunts, you know, your generic type of challenges you expect to see. And all of these will give you more rep, more rep, more rep. You will level up. And once you've completed a team, you will do the final boss race which will complete that team. And then as you can see here, once you have unlocked all three to the max, you will get the Goliath race. Again, we can't be exactly sure how many challenges there are, how difficult they are, how long it takes because we've not played it yet, but that is the absolute basics of how it works. Now, back to the pause menu, we can see that there's also Rally Adventure Rivals, obviously, and Rally Adventure Open as well. We can probably expect that to be there anyway. What else? Well, spotted within the live stream again, we have some of the new small features that have been added, such as the rally sort of race directions and the split times. You may have seen in the reveal stream, these icons here used to pop up to sort of indicate what you need to do on the next corner just to help you out like a normal rally stage would have. Well, I've looked through the entire stream and grabbed every image that I could find of every possible prompt. And we've got some interesting ones. We've got the generic ones sort of, you know, hard left, hard right, you, you know, straight on and stuff like that. But there's a few interesting ones that I didn't really understand what they mean. There's this one here that has exclamation marks and question marks. Don't really know what that could mean. There's this one that sort of, maybe that indicates that there's going to be not so much grip. I don't know. And then we've got this one, which looks to probably be rain related or water related. Um, what I don't know is what these excl exclamation marks mean on the thing. That might mean that it's a very urgent one not really sure maybe the color of them has got to do with the difficulty so the red ones are difficult the green ones are easy i think that's probably the case i would say that green ones are easy yellow ones are moderate orange ones are a little bit difficult and red are difficult that's what i would say is probably the case but it is cool to see each individual um point and as i said as well there are split times within the update as well where you can see compared to your competitor compared to your rival or your friend how you are doing compared to their time similar to formula one motor gp just any kind of race really a slight example of it here is where i believe the let's go stream account would have gone through a sector gone to sector two and it shows how far behind you are compared to two dev 636 you know the other player that's how it seems to work it's difficult to judge exactly how all this is going to work because we've not played it yet but it's cool to see these features actually with our eyes so there's a lot to look forward to within this expansion lots of cool features the new cars are good as well let me know what you are most looking forward to for the rally adventure expansion guys leave a like if you enjoyed i'll see you all later